Ladies and gentlemen, well, I guess we're all gentlemen. We are live. Welcome to Saturday Night Fights, convened as, well, always. I'm saying it was always. It's never been otherwise. Convened by Zardoz. Um, Indeed. We, we would have it no other, no other way. We have a brand new guest tonight. Zeke, say good evening to the nice folks. Hey. And we have my buddy Panther Day. Doug, how are you, sir? I'm uh, very well, sir. All right. Well, we're going to, we have decided just after a little bit of conversation, we're going to get back into Blucher because we like Blucher. Um, and all I got to do is put up a single video link and we'll be off and running just so we can let people know. Because as I suggested before we we're going on, I was already getting texts and emails saying, why aren't you guys on live yet at 720? So, so it's like, as I suggested before we're going on, there we go. Now we're all set. How many do we have so far? All right, we're off and rolling. Um, I need this link, please, so that I can send it to the Twitter feed. All right. Sent that is he uh, got performance tonight? No, Velker is actually sitting off to my left watching videos. I see. Yeah, he uh, they there was a there was a bit of uh, errant switchery on his part today. They got a hold of him yesterday and said, "Hey, would you mind switching from the seven o'clock to the two o'clock?" Because we, we double booked you both into the 7 o'clock. And he's like, that's fine. And then they got back to him and said, would you mind going from the 2 o'clock to the 7 o'clock? And then they finally put him back at the 2 o'clock after the third ask. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Ah, the, the life of showbiz. <laughs> yeah, that's the, uh, he's not too happy about it. But. I figured I'd tell the nice folks at Sam Mustafa's honor website that we're playing this too. Because I like those guys. They're nice. They're good. They are good. That's how I met Ross, who did all this map. So all, they're all good people. They are. All right, now I can leave this behind. I can leave this behind. I still, though, I'm trying to figure out how Old Meldrum, which looks to have a population about the size of your average post office, yes, has a sizable war gaming club. And it, yeah, it can't be little because they put out, and we've talked about this before, and we might as well let's let's pan back from Mr. Connery and show them what we're talking about. This is this map that is done by the folks at Old Meldrum. This entire map is theirs. They also did all the great little cards that we're going to play with tonight. So this is all their hard work. And like Doug said, it seems like there should be at least a thousand of them. And and yet yeah. and yet not so much. So there it is. So yes, we are going to play Blucher. We're going to play the Battle of Teugenhausen. Doug has chosen to play the... Actually, I think it was the... Uh, Zeke grabbed the Austrians over here. Francis I, although... Yeah, and it's actually Archduke Charles. And over here, uh, Marshal Davout will be played ably by my friend Doug. So, uh, Doug and I have played a lot of Blucher. Uh, however, Zeke has not. So it's instructional time. And this is a great time as any to teach folks how to play Blucher. Well, the first thing you'll notice is that it's obviously a large-scale system. Um, we're not talking about maneuvering battalions here. We're, moving, we're typically maneuvering brigades. And what you're going to see on those brigades is a series of pretty basic ratings. And you can grab, look at any one of them, but I'm going to go over here to Zeke's side of the field, and I'm going to grab all the way down here and say we've got all this key information right on these cards. First of all, we see the brigade it's in, and we see some good historical information right at the top. But over at the left, we see movement. Now, movement and all measurement in Blucher is done in base widths. A base width is whatever the width of the base is. Duh. Well, we're cheating a little bit because I wanted to do 60 millimeter by 30 millimeter bases, but we're keeping the base width at three inches. I'm told by the folks on the Honor website that that really shouldn't upset the apple cart very much. Um, and then you're also going to see the... So you see over here two numbers. 
The first one is their ability to move simple moves. And we'll talk about what that means later. But basically it means clear terrain, straight ahead, uh, no obstructions, no twisty turny bits, all that stuff. So therefore, if that's the case for our 2nd Brigade Infantry Regiment 21 von Waldeck, they can move six inches. If, on the other hand, they have to do a difficult move, they can only move three. So it's two base widths, one base width. We also have the critical information down here about core and division. The core is obviously the four, the division is the two, but there's going to be this concept of core activations. And if you're activating a core, well, you've got to activate the core. These boxes measure a lawn. A lawn is a, a number of things, but it's most critically the strength of the unit, how effective it is. And it gets tweaked depending on the individual unit, but this is basically how effective it's going to be in combat. It is losses of a lawn that cost a unit eventually and eventually will drive it off the battlefield. Um, and that's how you take damage and things like that. It's very much the same with our horse right over here, except obviously they move more quickly. And because these are hussars, you'll notice they get a little bit of an extra punch in combat. They get a little more lawn. Guns are a little bit different. You still see their movement, simple, complex, or difficult. You still see the core to which they're attached, but you also see their ammunition. Every time an artillery unit shoots, it must lose one of these ammunition. Now, as I shared at the beginning of the game, when we start the game, all these units are going to be like that, face down. They're nice Austrian flags to the top. That's because you get to surprise each other. And you'll notice that these fellas, we'll talk about what their deal is. They're out here. They, they're already set up out here at Pering. Um, they are already face down. So that's where they're going to begin. But once your unit actually moves and once it's spotted by the other side, we'll talk how that happens, then you're going to replace it with this unit here. And every one of these cards has its parallel right nearby, right on this rack. So we can see, for example, that we have the... Uh, flip these over. We have the four core second division foot artillery. There they are. And they're all ready to roll out. So you're going to roll them out there. So having taken a look at the units, let's talk about how a... I'm going to shoot ahead here a little bit. Let's talk about how uh, Blucher plays. And Sam Mustafa, the guy who wrote these, he writes wonderful, wonderful rules, but there are certain parts of his stuff that drive me absolutely insane. Measuring of distances is typically from the closest point of an enemy unit to your unit. So it's closest point to closest point. We have fronts, flanks, and rears, which are fairly simply defined. Everything over here is to the front. Everything on this side is to the flank. And everything only up the back is rear. They try to keep it real direct, real simple, I guess I would say. Every unit has an engagement zone, which is three inches from its front edge. If you are in that engagement zone, you're limited in what you can do. It basically is intended to prevent shilly-shallying. You can go in and try to engage if you'd like. Or you can move directly backwards to get out of that engagement zone. Terrain movement is also simplified in Blucher. The only ones that are going to matter in ours are we have, obviously, trees, forests, very well delineated. The roads, except for one exception, don't matter. There's one place where they do. We'll get to that. Urban area. And streams. Nothing, none of these streams are unfordable. In fact, I'm a little surprised they're even, this one is even on here as it's so tiny, but it I, doesn't matter. They do, however, the trees, the river, and the urban area count for difficult terrain, which means any movement in them is difficult. And so you can't do that super fast move that you see in that first number. Woods obstruct visibility as do urban areas. All right, let's see here. Line of, line of sight 
is measured from dead unit center. So again, let's take a look here. I'm looking at this first brigade, these Grenz, these Stutterheim Grenzers. It's from the center where that unit meets. That's where you're going to be measuring line of sight from. Um, units can see through any portion of their own footprint, but any other unit blocks LOS as well as obstructing terrain. So what's a turn look like? The first thing we're going to do is the information phase. Well, I suppose the first thing we should do is talk about the game clock. Doug had to explain this to me the first time we played because it made my head hurt. If you take a look at this game clock over here on the Nisenau Game Aid, you're going to see all these crazy numbers of turns. Well, this is actually only half as many of what you'd think of as a traditional turn. In this case, in this game, every time you move, that counts as moving the game clock forward. So if it's one, that's the first player's turn. If it's two, then it's the second player. So it's really kind of double. So you got to pay attention on it from that perspective. Um, I'll talk about army morale later. The first thing we do is reveal units. Most units are concealed. How do you discover units? Anytime you fire on and hit a concealed unit, it must be revealed. Or the active player discovers it during the information phase. It is discovered if it is within 12 inches of an active unit and is visible to an active unit. So, you know, you don't, you just, and the key is, they don't actually have to be the same unit. It's kind of weird, but it, I, it's hard to imagine a case. I've never seen it where it would be the other way, but basically it's 12 inches. All right. And then that's how you, that's how you discover things. The next thing you do, it's the activation phase. And this is one of the real cool pieces of uh, the way Blucher works. What's going to happen each turn you're going to roll three dice because there are three mo dice in this scenario. They're called momentum dice. You're going to roll three of them. That's going to determine how many movement points your opponent gets. He doesn't get to see it. It's concealed. Only you know it. So the mo limit is hidden. What you're going to do is you're going to do a series of activations. As you go forward, you're going to do the activation and then ask, may I continue? Usually you can do it for a little bit, but eventually you're going to say, nope, you've run out of activation points, you stop. There are three ways to activate units. The first is by core. Uh, to activate a unit by core, they have to belong all to the same core, as was said. And all the units that you're activating have to be within three inches of each other, and they can be in a chain. That's permissible. So it's, you know, it's as long as they're within three inches, they activate. If you do that, every unit that you activate costs only one mo point. All right. Then you can activate, once you're done with all your core activations, you're going to activate individual units. That means you just point to a unit and activate it. The trick is that costs two. All right. Finally, you have the option to activate a force, a group, by command using your commander marker. You have a commander marker, each of you. There he is. There's the Archduke Charles of Austria. You'll notice he has no special traits. But you plunk him down on the battlefield, and that's where he's going to be. The active player places his marker on the table anywhere except in a major river, <laughs> and not within three inches of an enemy unit. You can place it right next to another unit. All eligible units within six inches may be <laughs> activated together. But that does end the turn. Any questions so far? Good deal. So that's activation momentum. Now we talk about firing. Um, let's see here. Uh-oh. What's the matter? We lost. Uh-oh. He Boom. went away. Boom. Boom! New Jersey just fell off the map. Yeah, we didn't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite him back here. Where did he go? Whoa! Did he go away completely? Yeah, we lost him off of chat too. 
Oh my goodness. Well, hopefully we get him back pretty quickly. Let's see here. This gives me a quick chance to jump over and see if anybody has chosen to join us this evening. Oh goodness, we got a household. Hi, Bandit Brant. There needs more dragoons. It's Red Sacks. The show is... E <laughs> hey, Hasdrubal. Hey, Hasdrubal. Velker was very upset that you were not in the last game. Velker specifically spoke out that you did not visit when he and I played. So you were missed, I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, the Archduck Charles is not... I actually created a stir on the uh, Napoleon... On a Napoleon Twitter stream. Hey, it's Bishop Coctus. How are you? The uh, I actually created a minor stir on a, on a Napoleonic Twitter feed because I kind of went after the Archduke Charles. It's one of my few tweets to get over 3,000 retweets. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh... Yeah, so... I suppose I should ask, Doug, what are you drinking tonight? Tonight, just water. Ah, very good. Tonight, uh... My dear friend and my deputy has gone to another job. He ac he actually left uh, to take a wonderful other position. And uh, he and I have been together for 20 years in various positions. And he bought me a bottle, the big bottle, of Johnny Walker Blue. There you go. And it's one of those gifts that you just, just oh, it's so nice, I can't possibly do it. I can't possibly. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's like, yeah, no, I'm doing it. So I have, yeah, I have a snifter of Johnny Walker Blue before me. Yeah, you can. That's I'm, the whole point of it. I am not a blended whiskey guy, I will not lie. But this is very, very good. Yeah, if you're going to do it, you kind of have to do the top end of it. Yeah. So, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I want to keep our audience waiting. Yeah, I will. Uh, I may just have to smash your face in with my mighty, with my mighty Austrians. I know you're afraid. I am. I'm frightened of them. Uh, they, they are. They are mighty. This I is. Am, this I is am. The... I am happy to swap. So oh wait. Oh, oh we got. Hey, sorry, I dropped out there. I'm not sure what happened. No, I don't know. Good. I'm glad. In. Glad we got you back. We were worried. Yeah. <laughs> Loading back in. Okay. Cool. The. Uh... All right, which gives me a chance to. Go back here. Probably your inner tubes cross the border into Pennsylvania someplace, and you know how the Pennsylvanians are. <laughs> that is, I, that's as good a theory as I've got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So let's uh, wait for you to get. It all, all made sense so far. Good. Um, yeah, it's, and like I say, it's not a terribly not complicated game. Okay, back. Good deal. So let's talk about movement. Talk about movement. Remember we talked about... We talked about okay, you're going to have to bring me down a little bit because I'm loud in my own head. Oh, yep. Come on. So Just tell him, tell him it's not you. That's it. <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already psychologically <laughs> fragile. <laughs> Movement comes in three flavors. The first is simple. And where did that where did that go? There it is. Um, yes. When making a simple move, you may first pivot to any new facing and then move in a single straight line only in that direction and only through terrain that is not difficult. Okay. And you must keep facing the way you turn two. So you get one turn at the start of the move, straight ahead, and you're done. A difficult move means if you pass any part of your unit through any difficult terrain. Or you end your move facing in a route different from where, if you end up facing differently than where you started. Okay. So basically, if you want to turn once and move straight, that's simple. If you want to move and then turn at the end of your move, or enter any kind of terrain, complex. Then we get reserve move. And this is a big deal. This gives you a movement allowance of 36 inches. You may bend and curve as you like along the line of movement of a road. 
The movement path may not pass through any amount of woods, marsh, or rough terrain except via road. And its movement path may not start, end, or pass through any place that is visible to and within 12 inches of an enemy. So basically, it's what it sounds like. A reserve move. Charging. Of all the things Doug and I love about Lucre, this is the one thing where we've talked the most. <laughs> Only infantry and cavalry may charge. Artillery can't. Good rule. You may not charge if your unit has an allan of only one, which means it's fatigued. You must be able to see a unit that you're charging. Uh, the charge move. You may pivot on your center point up to 45 degrees if you wish. Then you must go straight ahead. The movement is, and this is the key, the movement allowance for charging is 6 inches for infantry, 12 for cavalry, and it does not, it, there's, you may not, or sorry, you may pass through any terrain except impassable. It doesn't affect your movement. So that last, that last closing to combat isn't suddenly shortened by bad terrain. However, a cavalry unit may not charge move through any woods or an urban area, even if it completely clears those areas prior to contract contacting the enemy. Okay? And you can't pass through a major river, go figure. You may interpenetrate friendly, but you may not wind up sitting on each other at the end of the turn. To charge, you must attack the unit that is the greatest threat. The closest unit you could legally attack is a greater attack than one further away. And a unit whose front edge you can legally attack is a greater threat than one front that you cannot attack. So if it's looking at you, it's more dangerous. Infantry units may charge cavalry. This is sometimes weirds people out. But they may not do it with friendly cavalry. This means you may not combine infantry and cavalry against infantry. Or against cavalry, I'm sorry. Infantry and cavalry may not charge cavalry together. Okay. Let's see here. You may retire voluntarily. If you've got a unit that's taken so much abuse... Um, and that unit is not within six inches of the enemy, and the unit can figure out a straight line of movement all the way off the board, you can pick it up and put it in your retired area, which is better. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, by the way. Yeah. Okay. By the time you, by the time your units take a beating, sometimes, especially artillery, artillery, once it's out of ammo, must retire. Okay. Um... How do we shoot? Units that move may not shoot. Preparing. Units may prepare. What that basically means is you're getting ready to receive a charge, notably against cavalry. This is not movement, and it does not prevent you from shooting. Cavalry does not shoot. You may not fire if your footprint is even partially in what, partially in water, or an urban area. A unit may fire while in rough ground, except marsh. An artillery unit may not fire if its footprint is even partially in woods. An infantry unit may fire while in woods, so long as its front edge is out of the woods. You may notice that these cards have a 45 degree angle on them. There's a reason for that. That's the arc of fire to the front. Range of fire. Three inches for infantry is what we call volley. Six inches is skirmish. Artillery short range is six. Long range is 24. 
If an artillery unit has a unit within six inches, it must shoot at the closest target, otherwise it may fire where it wants. Infantry must fire at the closest target. You must have, if you're shooting at a distance, you must have at least an inch and a half gap between units to keep shooting at them. How do we shoot? This, uh, the way we do it, you roll dice equal to your Elan. Every six is a hit. Your fire is penalized, and it can only be penalized once, which means you, you, round, you have your Elan and round up, and we'll go through those penalties once we get to them. You may also receive a bonus. If you get a bonus, and you may only have one, that means that when you roll your Elan dice, one five can count as a hit. Doing very well here. Melee. You get, again, a number of dice equal to your Elan. Artillery get it equal to their um, their artillery number. You roll that many dice per unit in combat. And your goal is going to be hitting on fours. You want to do more up damage than your opponent. And then we determine based on that what the results are. And that's easier to do than to explain. Okay. One special case that is very important. If the defending infantry unit is prepared, which is to say in square, Attacking cavalry must reroll all its successes. If the infantry unit did not manage to prepare, the inf the infantry must roll all its successes again. All right. Do, 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 do. Have all that going on. Retreating. Retreating. Units retreat. Did he lose him again? Um. Yeah, it looks like we lost Doug this time. Lost Doug? What is going yeah. on? Oh my goodness. Well, he knows how to reconnect, so we'll just keep going. Okay. <laughs> how you retreat. Retreat is in a straight line within six inches. If you are the active unit, you retreat facing forward. If you are the passive unit, you must turn to face the other way. All right. Pretty much. I just dropped. Yeah, you're coming back, though, I imagine. I don't, where did you go now? Yeah, I completely, I lost Steam Chat and everything. Oh, goodness. Um... It was kind of weird. All right. But here we, here we go. Every unit you lose costs you a point of army morale. That's what Doug was talking about, why it's sometimes very desirable to have your units retire. Let me bring, okay. up, let me bring up the uh, battle thingy here. Battle thingy is technical, by the way. <laughs> Epic Fox Tabletop says, Good evening, all. More Blucher is always best. <laughs> so let's talk about what you all got to do here. And we'll start with our good friend, just because I brought them up first, the French. French special rules. All French may use the rally rule. This is an optional rule in Blucher. What does it do? It allows you, if you are far enough away from the enemy, and let me get that exact distance. Tell me it's on page 87. I hope that's not a lie. There it is. 
Rather than moving, you roll one die. If you roll three or better, you get one Alon back. And you may never get your first Alan back, as is pretty well standard. If Davu uses his vigorous trait, the French cannot then be activated by command. Victory conditions. The French win by holding Teugen and Hausen, being the last to occupy them with an infantry brigade at the end of the game, thus linking up with the Bavarians in the region of Abensburg, or by breaking the Austrian morale before the end of the game. Other info. Historically, the battle ended around 5 o'clock p.m. when a thunderstorm spread across the battlefield. Beginning at turn 29, the phasing player starts to roll a die at the end of each remaining turn to determine what, when the thunderstorm strikes the battlefield. The game is maximum 34 turns, begins at 7 a.m., and ends sometime depending on the thunderstorm. Doug, where do you set up? Your 7th Legere, 3rd Division, 3rd Corps. I believe those are the guys floating out right near Salhaupt. Where are they? Yep, there they are. These fellows right there. They set up within 12 inches of Salhaupt. Yeah. Or they can set up in it if they like. The light, uh, your number two, your light cavalry division, first heavy cavalry division reserve corps. They arrive on table, they march on table, turn one. All right. Your second and fourth divisions arrive turn nine beginning turn nine with the fourth with the fourth division in the lead very interesting this is an approach to battle scenario it is now which roads do those come in on his lads he's got uh, yeah he, these guys here are going to be marching on here okay these guys here i believe i believe that's what i was just talking about are going to be marching yep. on here and these guys lad these lads here are going to be marching on here Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. And then the remainder of 3rd Division, 3rd Corps, arrives beginning at 9 o'clock. And they arrive at point four, which I have here. Uh, yeah. Good. So everybody's pretty much positioned roughly where they are. Right. So those make sense. Good. So I've got those. Let's switch over very quickly to our friends, the Austrians, who Doug has already conceded he fears. It's true. It is their fierce Germanic mustaches that intimidate Oh, you. see, and, you know, don't tell Bob that. He's going to have hurt feelings. <laughs> the 1st Brigade, Cheveux-Léger Regiment Number 4, the Light Division, they can be within 12 inches of pairing. That's these two gentlemen here. Okay. Third Corps arrives beginning at 9.20, turn 8. The same with Four Corps. Okay. And your first Reserve Corps begins arriving at turn 10 using the Blucher reinforcement rules. And we'll talk about what those are when we get to 10 o'clock. Suffice to say, they're not in automatic arrival. So we're going to blaze through some early turns pretty quickly. Yeah, pretty fast. All Austrian units can rally. <laughs> Charles cannot activate people by the CNC rule. Well, that's not really a surprise, is yeah, it? It's Charles. How do the Austrians win? You win by holding Teugen and Hausen at the end of the game, or by breaking the French morale. And I will certainly kibitz a little bit over your shoulder, Zeke, to, to help you understand what's going on here. I did, forget, okay. I did forget to check 
who has first move. Okay, Teugenhausen, Thon, Salhof, Dunsling, and Pairing are all villages. Mulbach, okay. And then, yeah, they create difficult movement, but they're not. Yeah, that's all fine. And the French move first. So, what you're going to do here, Zeke, are you familiar? I, I suppose I should have asked this first. Are you familiar with Tabletop Simulator and the way it rolls things around? Uh, mostly, yeah. I have used it to play games before. Okay. You're familiar with this dice roller back here? That I have not seen, no. All right, what you do is you go back and forth with the minuses and the pluses. Mm -hmm. And when you want to get to the number you get to, hit the number. Oh, awesome, okay. And what i got to do is i got to turn print off so that Doug can't sneak in there and see. It's true. Because this is your super secret mo dice you're going to give Doug. Whereas over here is your combat die roller. So I've given you two. Because this one will okay, print so we can keep a record. So first thing you're going to do, and we'll, we'll keep a track over here, but I'm going to show the folks at home, see if we have any comments before we get started. Do, 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 since we've taken a nice... I hope everybody understands what's going on. Yes, Hester Black did call that one out. I did call that one out. That's right, I forgot. This is your game, isn't it, Has? Awesome. Um, we've got nine folks watching. Hello, nine folks. So, uh, we begin with the information phase, which as we look around the map, I'm pretty sure nobody is anywhere near close enough to see one another. So as that is so, uh, Zeke, you're going to give Doug a die roll of three dice on the secret Mo dice roller. I'm showing the folks at home what it is. Now you keep that number a secret, you remember it in your head. And we're going to watch Doug do some activations. You remember your activations, Doug? I do. Cool. So uh, you would begin with core activations. Which I'm going to do. Okay. Who's coming on? Well, there's the only people that are coming on are <laughs> our friends, the cavalry. All right. And they're just ready to rock and roll. So, starting here, your call, they've got a movement of four. Four base widths, and a base width, remind me again, is... Three inches. Uh, three, three inches, inches. Yeah. So, so 12, yeah. And certainly, as you're on a road, you are eligible for the farm yeah. automatic if, um, if you wanted it. I am going to do that. I am going to do... Uh, uh, ba -ba 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 reserve move. Okay. Starting from here. Trucking down Mr. Road. Get that out of your way real quick. Yeah, so... That's decoration. Alright, so that call... Let's call that 20 inches to there. Actually, I'll bet you it's 20 inches to there. Let's call that 20 inches. Deal. And then... Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to have another, what, 16. Mm -hmm. So I think I can get roughly to this right before this river crossing. That seems right. We all, we all seem comfortable with that? Yeah. I'm good. All right. Okay. And everybody else is just going to follow right along, as cheerful little cavalrymen do. Are they, whisper are they singing Hussar songs? Uh, indeed they are. Excellent. Because what else would they do? Right. They're marching along the road well distant from these fellows at pairing, so... Yep. All right. Yep, and they're behind that hill anyway, so... Oh, that's an excellent point, and the trees. Yep. 
So let it be observed, uh, Zeke, that this is four points. Okay. For each of those activations, and if they were infantry, they would be ineligible to fire. So now we you rolled three dice, so odds are there's still probably points left. But at this point, Doug asks you, can he continue to move? And yes. All right, away you go. All right, well, um, okay. So I'm going to also use a reserve move and move these gentlemen that are in Salhut towards Toygen. Now, these fellows, because the, a core activation has to have at least two units in it, so this counts right. as an individual move. This is an individual move. Core activations be done. They are finished. Yeah, just look and see who the hell they are. <laughs> who in the blue hell are you? All right, so, so they're going to turn, and then they're going to chug, 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 chug. And theoretically, that's 29 on the as the crow flies. So again, do we think that's... Are, are we all comfortable that they could get here to Toygen? I do. I am. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Then they're in Toygen. All right. Hello, my friends in Toygen. No, I'm telling you, that farmer got mad at me. Well, he's. I, I gave him a house. That's... <laughs> All right. If, that was a if you, two if you, movement. That Correct. is a two right okay. because he had he had declared his core activations at an end. Okay. I named all the houses for you. That's that's. Did you look at my house? I can see my house from here, and also my house. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. I've allowed vandals onto my game table. Very good. <laughs> So are you finished? Is that it for you? I am kaput. All right. So what we do here, uh, Zeke, is we go over to this side, and Doug will do the same thing. You're just going to move your marker that you've got on your niece now to a two. And so, Doug, we reveal that you actually had a 15-point opportunity there. Had I only had the units. Yep. But now you, Doug, will roll for Zeke and give right. him. Because I'm sure we have... Well, let's, uh, yeah, there's nobody in range to see. Oh, i got to turn your printing off. There you go. Now right. we'll, we'll roll for Zeke. Now we'll do it again. Very good. So, um, yes, sir. Are yep. any, I don't have any cores entering the field first turn, right? Is that true? Let me, uh, let me have a peek. You'd think I'd keep that handy, but I didn't. I don't believe he does. Austrian briefing. Uh, you've got... Yeah, you've got those two... Yeah, your first turn is turn eight. Okay. Hmm. All right, let me just take a peek at these guys. Okay. And when I say I named all the houses, I named all the houses. All right, so Sir Digby Chicken Caesar, good. Rivendell and Zardoz Manor, very nice. Uh, was pairing an Austrian objective as well? Nope, it's Toygen and Housing. All right, so all right, I guess I'll just activate uh, this core here then. All right. So, uh, how do you do the turn the hand into a ruler for the uh, drags? Well, you grab the unit, spin it the way you mm -hmm. want to face it, and then hit okay. the tab key. And hold it. Ah, awesome. Okay. Ooh, this one's a and quick learner. Total of. Sorry, I'm going to just drop this guy back down. Uh, what is the total movement on reserve? That is a. 36. 36. 36. Okay. So, uh... So far, and hit F one. There you go. Oh, sorry. Who's who's back? A bit. 
Okay. And so 16 more on that. So say right about there. Yep, well, that looks good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, so I'll just follow him up and drop him right down behind him. Sounds like a deal. Right, that's core okay. activation, so that's two. Doug, may he continue? He may. Right. Not no. that he has anything to continue with. Right. But. Now, so, uh, just to clarify, so you could not like activate a core for a move and then spend more points to activate an individual brigade to move further, right? Correct. Correct. Okay. All right, yeah, that's it for me, then. All right, so what... So all right. Well, that that actually takes us through the end of turn two. Sp right. He had through. ten, but no way to use them. Yeah. Oh, I see what Has is saying. So, Doug, what Has is saying is because your guys come in as reinforcements, they just show up at the top of last turn, and then they're done. Oh, okay. So I have a hunch they're going to get pretty much where they're sitting right now. Yeah, we do the same thing. So you'll probably just hang out there. Um, yeah. The I'm, I, and I don't think you get any more troops, right? Yeah, I don't like the next guys come in at like nine. All right, let me. Uh, I clearly must needs bring up both of these. No, we must be getting... I forget how long our turns. They're 20 minutes. All right, so we got a, we got a little ways yet. Yeah. Let me get up the... Uh, let me get up the French briefing real quick. We must be at 8 right now. Yeah, it also marks it... It also marks it by turn number, which is nice. Okay. So, Teigenhausen, Teigenhausen, there it is. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, French briefing, French briefing. There it is. I like those guys. There we are. That's correct. Light cav. Yeah, that, uh, those guys are too... Um, the 2nd and 4th Division of 3 Corps with Davu attached arrive starting at turn 9. Okay. The 3rd Division of 3rd Corps arrives at turn 7. So, in either case, nothing. So these guys are done because they would have moved this turn. Correct. These guys, uh, you want to activate your your unit oh, I, here. I guess I should roll the ammo dice just. For you this. should, yeah, yeah, for the for the sake of honor, roll the mo die. Okay. And, and good habits. All done. Good. Yep. All right, Doug. Anything you want to do over here? No, I think he's going to sit right there and Toygen. All right. Very good. Well, that ends that turn and pushes us to turn four. Okay. Rolling them mo dice. And I have, and I have moved oh, your right. marker over. No worries. Okay. Got to have something to do. All right. Uh, so Zeke's got some mo dice. Zeke's got some mo dice. Awesome. Okay. So I'll activate uh, this core again. Um. Thanks. Tab him. Coming into there. So, say they've moved, say, 20 inches so far. Yeah. And oh. then I will. And we have, have another Hesdrubal correction, Doug. Yeah. Everybody that reserve moves has to reveal themselves. Ooh, I remember okay. that. So, over they go. Yep. I remember that. And your fellas here. Yep. Cool. Okay, so I've moved uh, uh, 20 inches first, so far. First, first, first Brigade, 7th Light. Mm -hmm. Mark them uh, right about there. Alright. And I will bring... 
Mm-hmm. So just bring uh, these guys into the town here. Ooh, all right. Oh. oh, that's right. You guys have been hauling freight from all the way over here. Jeez, I was wondering where those cavalry went. And <laughs> Because, 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 because these now that they're revealed, I want to do. This. Oh, these become the models now. Though. Yeah. Dig it. I am going to do my very best to let Zardos and I keep track of your alans. Now, uh, with reserve movement, um, do you just kind of end the movement the way the road is facing? I'm not sure what it... It's, it, it I, I'm pretty sure you're just following the road. So, I mean, at a certain right. point, if it ends and you just want to turn yourself, I don't think there's any objection to that. Okay. Just wheel these guys to the right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, put, that's it for me. Okay, you putting on your dudes, Doug? Yeah, I'm putting them on. So, you just did a core move of two... It cost you two points, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, you can continue if you've got anything. Nope, that's it for me. Okay. okay Let me... I'm just grabbing cards. Right. Yeah. Not much good. Cons- I, there wasn't much subtlety with all this, I suppose. No. Uh. Uh-uh. No. No. Do I suppose there would have been. All right. So that's another one. I got these two right. Cool. Got them. Come with me, boys. Yeah, wherever you're putting them. Sean Connery and I are going to keep them company. Ah, uh, that's a good thing. And you're going to tell me what their numbers are. Okie dokie. Everybody, you can move, but you don't have anybody to move, so I guess you're done on the Modi. Yep. So, on to um, turn five, I guess? Yep. Okay. Alright, so I'll roll your Modi's. Yeah, we don't have anybody on spotting to reveal. Nope. Okay. The my friends of the uh, first brigade of the seventh light. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to do core first. So yeah, the cavalry boys over here are right. going to, and we're still out of sight, so I could still do reserve move. Yep, that is true. He's well off. Jeez, how to say <laughs> that? Don't that don't get to it? <laughs> yeah. Our Lady of Perpetual Motions Church is uh, in the way, apparently. Yes, as, as it always is. Our Lady of Great Agony. So that was uh, call it twenty-two inches. That seems right. Okay. So I've got, what, uh... 14? 14 left. Alright, well, just to be kind of reasonable about it all. We're going to go ahead and just right up here to this crossroads. Dig it. Boy, they're really kind of grumbly when you move them. That's because it's two bases linked together. Right. I, that's why I also turned the sound off. Gives me the Rumble. nerves. Yeah, because I keep expecting it's going to do one of those... Bad things. Hey, let's explode the whole board kind of things, yeah. right? It hasn't done it yet. Nope. Nope. All right, so that was so, uh, yeah, movement of four. According to Has, only flipped units can do reserve move. You know, I think he's right. I think he, he I definitely he, remember that. He usually mm-hmm. he usually is. I remember that. 
All right, so let's gonna, all go back here. You're not going to send me a bill for this, are you, Has? One of the nice things, Zeke, we've got is a regular group of people that love to set us straight. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for the rules, especially if you're playing a lot of different games. Yeah, and we do. That is the problem. No doubt about it. All right, so... So since I can't do reserve, mm -hmm. um, I get there is 4.5. So I'm going to have to do a complex move. Okay. But you're at a 4 and a 2 there. And so that gives me a 6, right? Yep. There you go. All right. Well, now the entire timing turn timing starts to make more sense. Yep. Because we were kind of flying across the board here. Yep. So basically you get one reserve shot for free. Right. Alright. I'll do that. Either way, it's four. Yep. Uh, still got points? Uh, yeah, you're good. Alright, so we're going to have our friends over here do that. Oh, there we go. Ooh. They're, 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 they've decided that they're going to hold Toygen against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Now, does a prepared infantry unit... Um perform differently against infantry or no? Uh, I know it. Well, key is it doesn't have a it's flank. Now, yeah, it's now garrisoned to the town. Right. Okay, gotcha. And that's okay, where that if you sense. look at this uh, combat modifiers chart, it it's the thing that takes down the... Uh, where's that general modifier? Prepared infantry must no flanks. Where is that garrison modifier? Thought there was one. Infantry. There it is. Infantry tax, yep. infantry defender is a garrison. Plus two. Okay. Yeah, so the short answer is that short of having some nice grenadiers or something. Yeah. Ass assaulting a garrison town sucks. Yeah, let me tell you about that at Osper Nestling. <laughs> yeah, once but if you've got some nice grenadiers... Yeah, which you did, but never mind. Right. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. His dribble's going to send me a PayPal invoice. <laughs> okay, so I'm done. Okay. All right, that takes us to six, right? Yep. All right. He needs some mo dice, Doug. I'm rolling him. Cool. Ooh, kidooki. All right. I think uh, the only action I'm going to take is I just want to prepare the infantry in housing. All right. There's some prepared There's markers right markers. there. Yeah. <laughs> we will look at the one another very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> And the funny bit is, right. you, you can't see Teugen from Hausen, I guarantee you that. Right. Um, Alright, so that's it then. Nothing else. Takes us to turn seven. And I got some boys coming on board. In fact, you do. French briefing. Let's look that up real quick. And this is... And this is, again... Um, they show up, basically, is the point. Right. So this is 3rd Division, 3rd Corps. 3rd Division, 3rd Corps. Got it. Okay, so they're going to be coming in over here. Yep. And they just, they're there. Yep. They have arrived at there. He's already got the one. He said, I told him we've already got the one. All 
All right. Well, he can't move. So those guys are there. Core move for the cavalry. Very good. One assumes that I have four points. Well, if you're doing a if you're doing yeah. a core, if you're doing a core move, you do get to exceed it. Right. I was just about to say that. Okay, so same deal. These guys are gonna move six. Okay, so the way a reinforcement move works, Doug. So you want to go back to your old guy after you've uh. placed your reinforcement. The active player now must make a reinforcement move with each of them in an attempt to bring each onto the table. The unit may make may move in one straight line of the players choosing up to six inches. All right. <coughs> so on they come. So that's to say that if you, for example, had four infantry units come in on the same road, you'd really only be able to bring in two of them that's, on that turn. Yeah, that's that's the what I'm looking at here in the reinforcement section of the rules. Obviously, okay. obviously, listening to Hasdrubal here, the way it envisions it, you show up, you line up a bunch of guys wide on the table edge, so they can all kind of come in side by side. It's interesting okay. that he doesn't depict what happens if they're coming in one behind the other, which would clearly be the case in this instance. Um, right. right. So so I can move six inches, is yep. what you're telling me. Correct. That hazard will yell at me. All right. So I just move six inches. And these guys can move six inches. Yeah. Well, they're just going to queue up, right? Right. They're just going to queue up. And they must be completely on the table. Yeah, and you know what? It was a straight line. That was the deal. It was a straight line. So I can't really follow the road. That's an interesting and question. I'm, I'd, be, I'd be curious to know what the rule is on that. Because it seems to me that these guys are coming in. Because you're obviously you're going to want yeah, to do a right. reserve move with them. Right. I mean, that would be my preference. Now, I suppose a straight line could be like this. Right? I, yeah. start, over he I start over here. And I do a straight line of six inches. Like so. That's a straight line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't place them within checking out. I'm only going to get three units on. Yeah, he can live with that. I don't think he can get... Well, I mean, he could, but... We'll wait. Holy cow, now we're about 11 people. We're in double digits! Again! Well, off the hook! And Valker demands that he be listed even though he can't log in right now. That seems reasonable. All right, so you've done this. You've marched onto the table. I have marched onto the table. I have moved my cavalry. Good. And uh, I am done. All right. That takes us to turn eight. Ink. Ah. So, so, so now Austrian reinforcements are coming in, right? You get some? I think you do. Check this out real quick. Do, 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 do. Austrian briefing. Three core. Ooh, and four core. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, three and four core arrive. Okay. So, you got a little, um, so uh, Doug, have you given him some numbers, some dice? I have. I have his numbers. Excellent. Okay, um, so fourth core coming in on. Uh, um, how is the? Oh, coming in on this road here, I guess. Uh, yep, wherever they're positioned next to, you can assume that's the road. Okay, so let's do. Uh, 
I will say, this does make it clear how this happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like the operational footprint of this. Mm -hmm. it, it is, uh, it's a little questionable whether the rules really support right. that. But it's also on the very, it's on the small end of what Blucher is built for. Right. So I think that's why they feel they can sneak that in there. Because Vagram, yeah, it's bigger than this, but it's not that much bigger. Right. And okay, so I, I, yeah. uh, so I think that's all I'm fitting, right? Um, I'd say so. Yeah, it's got right, it, it. It is clear in the rules that you have to get every, every piece of it on. Okay. So let's go over to third core. All right. Mm. Oh, Davu was attached, right? Yes, you have to attach Davu to those those clown fellows. Come here, mate. You know what? Should I, I should be measuring. Should I be measuring from front of front of the unit six inches out? Is that, is it actually doesn't unit? matter as long as it, because it's absolute. Right. Okay. It's if you've moved the center, it's it is from the center. But if you've moved it six inches, the front has moved six inches. Just as long as you started that front off table. I forgot to get a nice picture. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it for them then as well. All right. You still have mo dice. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move. So this cavalry's coming into line of sight shortly out over <coughs> here. Uh, yeah, it um, doesn't matter because he's already revealed. Okay. So I'm down to. Uh, this is. They are four two. So that's a six inch move. Okay. All right. I'm going to. Oh, Matt, it's a trick. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about okay. it. That's, that's built right. to do that. So, six inch move. Okay. Yeah, the trees and the. I, I keep the terrain on these maps removable. We really got to figure out what uh, the one guy did to make those trees. Oh, uh, pierceable? Yeah. Yeah. Lazy boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that, that's pretty badass. Yeah, it is. All right. Uh, that's all for my movement, then. Oh. Also, I really believe that at about the time that the thunderstorm is going to start, that you need to turn on the... Oh, I should, get, I, I should get the effect, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I will get the thunderstorm effect from the appropriate bag. Yep. All right. Very Are good. We... Uh, that's the turn. That's the turn. All right, That's turn nine and turn nine. Do, do you, uh, do you or he get presents on turn nine? I get presents on turn nine, but Ooh. first I'm gonna have to move some people. Well, first things first, he's got to roll for your mo dice. Yep, and you got to do your core activations. Right. We got mo dice. Oh, oh, sorry. Come in here. All right, good to go. All right. Okay, core activation for the uh, white cav. Where are those clowns? Oh, they're over here. Yeah. Yep, and they are gonna go. It's a complex move again, so six inches up to the outside of the town. Up to Duran's house. Yep. Which is in Purring. Purring. And you you have to speak friend if you want to enter. Very good. Melon. 
That's four. Okay. Got a core activation over here of the uh, third core boys. Um, what happens in this situation? Uh, I don't know if you mind looking at the mode ice. I, I did. He's, he, he's allowed to exceed them on the... That's why core activations are so powerful. Okay. Okay, here we go. Um, we're going to... Um, this is going to be a little weird, but I'm going to do it anyway. What's that? Uh, so they're going to, well, let's see here. How far could they get? Because they can't be within 12 inches, right? Right. So, yeah, basically they get to get to right about there. They could do it. Call it right there, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you I'll bring out your uh, boys. Get... Where is Davu? There he is. There's Davu. Who is he accompanying? And then, as part of that core activation, does the reinforcement count? I don't. I don't see any sense in not being able to just pull them along. Behind. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I got to get Boyer. Boyer. Okay. Now they were. They don't have that six inches. Those guys move. No, I would. So. I wouldn't. I would say they just pull up behind. Well, but they were six inches back. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right? Yeah. So so they're at like, you know, I, I would say they're already at about 20 inches right there. Got it. Yep. And another 12. Right. Doesn't leave them that far. Eh, that's right about there. Is there a little well, bit? wait a minute. 20, 20 plus. You should get 16. 16, yeah, yeah. They're right there. Yeah, so they, they can make it. Yeah. Nice. Makes sense. They can make it. All right, so that's... Is that all your boys over here? That's all the third... All that division, yeah. These guys here, yeah. All right, so... Yeah, that's, you're gonna, that's everybody. I'm going to let you sub your figs in. Okay. Um, so... First you can know, I continue to move? Do I have mo dice? Uh, no. No, you're out. All right. So I can't bring my reinforcements on... Yet, I gotta look that up to see whether that counts against it. I don't think it does. Okay. I think that I think that's. Looking. No, it doesn't. That that's what that move is about. They just come on. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case... All right, so we, I have stuff from... Oh, and there it is. Uh, he just said it. Not that it matters. Reinforcements don't use Modice. Good. Reinforcements yeah. that did not enter last turn enter in the status phase of the following turns. Okay, that's fine. That works. That works for me. All right. Alright, so I need 2nd Brigade, 12th Line Boyer. Alright, so that's everybody that gets on, actually on the yep. map. Putting your dudes out. Yep. 85th line, Dupala. Mm. 
And the 25th line, Duplan. There you are. Cool. Alright, let's sort these guys out. Proceed. And I'm done because I'm out of mo dice. Alright. Third division. Do I want to turn 10? Turn 10. And you got mo dice. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to start by activating. Uh, fourth core over here. Okay. Where's that fourth core? These guys can march. This is a. So as long as they are on the road, is this is this still counting as a difficult march because their edges are touching the woods? Yes, it does. But it does. you are eligible for. Well, the problem is now you've got Doug's right. horse sitting over there. So okay. I, otherwise, I'd say you could do a reserve move, but that's only going to get you out to there. Yeah, so it's not going to get you very far. Gotcha. So as a consequence, you're probably better off. You know, you still are concealed until the reveal phase of Doug's turn, so you can do that. But um, you, you're gonna now you're pretty much going to be stuck moving according to the regular rigors of that unit. And yes, gotcha. e even though you're on a road, this is a difficult move for them. Right, because they have deployed into formation. Okay, so I'm down to a... This is a three-inch move for these guys? Yes, yep, yep. They're no longer in road column. They're doing tactical movement. Just so. Which, trying to move your deployed brigade through woods kind of sucks. Okay, and then I'm going to plop some more reinforcements behind these guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, this is... Uh, the reinforcement is part of a different phase, is that true? Yeah, it's part of the status right. phase. Okay, alright, I'll leave these guys. You'll get them okay. eventually, yeah. but... Yeah. Right. Okay, um, so do I still have movement points? You do. Okay, um, I'll activate <coughs> core over here. Where are those lads? There they are. So these guys should still be good for past the yep. or the reserve. Yep. Let's remind myself what I have. Okay. So. Say thirteen inches so far. Mm-hmm. And then so twenty six. Ten no ten left. Mm-hmm. Mm, Bob was in that house. I did not know that. Bob has his house right there. There it is. And that's his bonus house. Indeed. <laughs> I will not I will dwell not on Peter's dwell. pants. <laughs> we don't have the pig out. Oh. Hazardable points out if anyone is so inclined. That uh, you don't have to you don't have to follow roads on reserve moves, except through oh. woods and over rivers. Oh, that's very good. That's okay. that's true. More yeah, than I remember. Than... Oh wow! Oh. Yeah, I remember. I remember that oh, yeah. now too. It's all coming back. This was uh, 
18, say 20 so yep. far. I'd say. Okay, now, now the one, what, the one thing I'll, I'll caution, caution you about mm -hmm. with what you're doing here in the future, you're going to be separated to the point where trying to do a core move is going to be difficult. Right. Oh, right, right. Yeah. You, you got to be within one base width. Mm, okay, right. So this move out here is probably bad. Yeah, okay. Um, Having just violated one of Napoleon's maxims. You interrupted your opponent <laughs> while he was making a mistake. <laughs> so, say uh, 15 so far. Yeah, Jim, I have to say, going back to our contention that the natural scale for Napoleonic Wargaming is the Brigade, yep. I like this a lot more than the Black Powder scenario we played of this. Yep. Oh, I agree. No, when I, when I begin writing my articles about fast play, it's um, Black Powder will not be permitted, and I will explain why not. If you don't mind, I'm just going to have these guys come up the road. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, that makes you got, sense. You got inches for days. All right, that's it for me then. Okay, yeah, that well, was another. Actually, do I have any more movement points? Oh, uh, yeah, because you review six so far. But you do okay. have to reveal. Uh, so. Okay. Oh, it's Second Brigade Fun Bieber! My son is obsessed with the fact that it's a Bieber. Justin? <laughs> 20 is in front, right? Turns out that he's actually, uh, they're not Australian. Yeah. They're, they're not Austrians, they're Canadians. Who knew? Pity Vance ducked us for some kind of a date. <laughs> IR-23 Liechtenstein. This goes badly for him. Yeah. yeah. batteries which brigade is Liechtenstein first brigade there we go and then the guns are next got them mm -hmm. get you out of there I'll we'll set this up over here curious to see how long it would take to wind up having to deploy things. Yeah. yeah. Not very. Not so if very. I still, if I still have movement, I'm going to move the uh, cavalry here. Uh, uh yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, you yeah, definitely yeah. do. So that's a... not That's a regular move, not a core move. So that'd be two points. Cost you two points. Oh, look at the ballsy little horseman. <laughs> <laughs> we see you. With their funny little hats. Von Stutterheim. Okay, so that's it for all my movement, so then I still have to bring on reinforcements. Correct. Huh? That will be in the status phase. Here they come. Come, my so Liebchen. Start with the um, fourth part over here. It would seem you are has is claiming to be your extra memory. So. It, he is actually. That's exactly what he's doing. It jammed up on this road. Okay. And it would probably help me to remember the rules if I you know only played 
If if I didn't play and work on fourteen game systems at a time, yeah, I was going to say your development of horse and musket has likely cost you brain cells that could have been yeah, used for blooper. Absolutely. All right, so I'll bring on these troops here. Mm -hmm. Do I have another? Okay. <laughs> yeah, there are two beavers. There is no pig outside of Toygen. Oh, for the love of... Would you please... Oh, Jesus. We are missing our pig. Some people... The hell is the name of that little village? Royth. Yeah. yeah. We need the Royth pig. That's... <laughs> the pig of Royth. I'm telling you, I almost I felt like I was going to get arrested. That's just it's a bad memory. <laughs> now I come out of those trees thinking, you know, hey, it's fine. It's no problem. And the next thing I know, I'm on somebody's farm. Yeah, I felt like I was kind of in their backyard. In an angry Austrian's farm. Angry, angry Bavarian's Bavarian, farm. That's, that's worse. Yep. <laughs> Austrians are one thing. Bavarians are a whole other kettle of pigs. That's it for my um, reinforcements. All right. So on to eleven. Because because I'm here for you, the pig of Royth. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we are scooching ahead to turn. Did you? Yeah, we're on turn twelve. Yeah. Turn twelve. Yeah. Um, I think turn eleven. I moved my mark. Oh, you did. All right. So yeah, because Doug, you're on the yeah, you're on the odds, yeah, Doug. So. Right. Right. So turn eleven. Okay. Here we go. Turn eleven. Hello. All right. You're good to go. Okay. So core move of third core. Okay, let's go back to turn 10. We can stop right there. Don't go any further. Because on turn 10, the first reserve core starts rolling for arrival. So, I gotta go f with a factor of 4. This is a part of Blucher that I've never done before, so we might as well share this. Yeah, we've yeah. never done the reinforcements. Not not this way, yeah. Uh -uh. Okay, so I just need to roll... One uh, dice looking for a four or higher? Do, I don't know. When a player checks for oh, a specific group of reinforcements, you roll one die, and you multiply its results by a factor. If the result is equal to or lower than the current turn number, that group of reinforcements has arrived. So the factor is four, so you would have to roll a one or a two for that group to arrive for you. Okay. I guess I'll use the battle dice roller out over... You can just shrink this to... Oh, I see. You want to keep that for Doug? Sure. Yeah, yeah. That'll work. Yeah. Just take that down to one. And they do not, because no. that's a 12. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. So that's how that works. So they have not... That first core... That reserve core has not yet arrived. Very good. So you roll Doug's mo dice. Doug, please proceed. All right. Let's do a core activation of third core. Okay. And they're going to move. So I'm going to turn them mm -hmm. and move. Okay. A manly three inches. It's very manly. Feeling like it. So. Okay. I will go ahead and move this brigade. Three inches. Mm hmm. Or as close as I can get without overlapping bases. Mm -hmm. Just get the boo out of the way. He's fine. 
Alright, I'm going to turn the third d d brigade and move them close to three inches. Uh, who does the Archduke come in with on my side? I'm not sure if he comes in with that other he doesn't. I brought in. Or... That's the point. Oh, not at all. Oh, yeah, boy. He, okay. he never shows up. <laughs> he's actually Perfect. in the, in the battle. He's about twenty minutes away. Right. right. He, it doesn't uh, it doesn't occur to him until very very late in the battle that he's got a big chunk of the French army right where he could have had him. <laughs> All right. So that's uh, activation for third corps. That would have been four points. Do I still have mo dice? Uh, four points used so far. Yeah, you still have mo dice. So let's do a core activation of my cavalry. Where are those fellas over here? Yeah. Over here. Turn and through the town. Or six inches. Mm hmm. Turn and inches. Slight turn and Six inches. And tail and Charlie here. Hey, they're hussars. They have feelings. That's all they have are feelings. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. I've seen the duelists. You're not wrong. All right, so that was another four, taking me to eight. Do I still have mo dice? Uh, yep, still have it. All right. So, given that, let's have the activation for the fourth core. And they're going to be able to move basically three because it's going to be a well no yeah because they're going to hit the town right there mm -hmm. so that's the best they're going to do Trump 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 just so All right that took me to 12 no. And I'm out of... I can't move anyway, so I now I'm bringing on reinforcements. Okay. So here come your reinforcements. Yep, here come my reinforcements. I don't have a lot of guns this time. No, those guns show... I looked this up. Those guns show up very late. When do they show up? They're right here. That's You'll notice their tail in Charlie. No, I mean, no, they, I mean show they show up, this, up. there are reinforcements that I, I can bring on already, right? Yeah, I'm yeah, not waiting yeah, for another right. turn. No, 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 no. I think you're done, aren't you, with waiting? Yeah, that's yeah, what that's I thought. thought. Pretty, um, pretty sure, let me look. But yeah, I can yeah. bring these guys, I can bring the guns on now, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are, you are done now you're with done that. Now. All right. I'm just trying to get them in my march order someplace where I have a little bit of artillery support. Dig it. Oh, oh, quit it. There we go. So everybody I can bring on from a reinforcement perspective. Okay. All right. That would be the end of that. So on to turn 12. Okay, uh, so now 
Do I, I roll for those reserves to come in at the end of this turn or at the beginning? We'll go here to our turn cheat sheet, which is what do I have? Oh, it's over here. Of course, you always find something in the last place you look. You check at the end of the turn in the status phase. Mm, okay. Cool. All right, so, so first, Doug's got to give you some mo dice. He's got him. Awesome. I don't think there's anything to discover. Is there? You're all. Yeah, we're all pretty much. What is Look at the, these horsies. Look at these horsies. Oh. They're within 10 inches. Yeah, those were in discovery. 12 inches. That's discovery right there. Over they go. Okay. That is my hussars. Mm, hello. Good to see you, boys. Do they have moustaches? I'm a, they're offended, you would ask. <laughs> But are there moustaches in violations? That's <laughs> <laughs> we do not want cowboy Elvises in this army. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll activate... Um, I'll activate third core first. Um, so I guess when I'm saying activating third core, I'm activating this group of third core. Right. 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 Correct. Next Correct. Turn. And it's only okay. got to be, you could even do a two at a time if you wanted to, but it's just got to be at least two. Okay. Um, all right. I'll do all four of these guys. Okay. That's four point. Okay. Yeah, they're going to come hauling freight. <laughs> yeah. Safe. How are you all doing? Okay, so that is 14 so far. Mm -hmm. um, is there any kind of rule about moving through your own guys? You can go right through them as long as you don't stop. You can't You can't stop on top of them. Right. Okay, so I've moved 15 so far. So let's come up to... And remember your 12 inches from Doug. So you're going to have to back that up to about gotcha. there. Okay. Uh, I guess I will. Oof. That is that there. That's. Okay. That's as far as I'm getting. Cool. Yep. Got a flip, too. Oh, right, right. Okay. I'll bring the rest of these guys up then. Second Brigade 38 Fun. Another Fun Bieber. Von Bieber leads the way. He is so fine. <laughs> Very handsome. And reserve movement cannot go through woods, right? I just kind of assume. Co correct, except by road. Well, isn't this just looking familiar? <laughs> you mean like the way it went? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that I've been so deep in the Civil War that I have basically no recollection of how this battle goes, so be happy to look it up on Wikipedia afterwards and find out what actually... Yeah, the, the geography largely drives this. That's true. The pig, of, the pig of Royth. Yeah. Well, no, the Pig of Royth was there. He's very famous. It's what uh, caused everything to happen this way. Uh, was there some kind of rule? It was the artillery cannot fire from woods, right? But they can correct. move into it. Okay. Correct. Correct, correct, correct. They'll move slowly through it, but... But they can move into it. So, I think that is it for them. Uh, do I still have movement? Uh, so that was just your, that was your first activation, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Four yeah. yeah, so yeah, you do. Okay, I will activate. Okay. I will activate uh, this group of fourth core next then. Okay. Four more. So this is a six inch movement possible, right? Mm-hmm. Just 
to there. And this is three inches. So much fun typing so the name of these Austrian commanders. <laughs> Von Radzoyevich, get out of here with that nonsense. Yeah, the Austrian names are difficult compared to, like, Prussians and yeah. Hanoverians, right? You know, because they've got that, well, some of us are Hungarian right. and... Some of us are Polish. Some of us are Polish and Slavs of varieties of... So these fellows do not have to flip. Oh, okay. Yeah, they don't, right. they don't have to flip until the spotting phase. Right. Ah, okay. Uh, so that's it for that uh, movement. Do I still have movement points? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so next is... So you got these. You got a chance to bring in anybody that hasn't come on first. These guys here. Yeah. Is that that's not your reserve corps, is it? No, that's over here. Okay. Yeah, I'll start uh, stacking these guys up. Because this reserve corps is scary. Bunch of freaking grenadiers. Yeah, I think it's all grenadiers. That's look at it. Yeah. I forget which unit is. Yeah, your that's unit. that's Charles's reserve grenadiers that. Who, who he finally ships over there. Right. Oh, these fellows. That's your IR. Got it. Yeah, I gave him all the nice flags. So you got these guys going. You got these guys going. Right now. Last one needs to come in. All right. Um, that's okay. it for reinforcements. And now you have to check and see if these guys show up. Uh, again, okay, it's so a one one d six times four. We're on turn twelve. Twelve. So it's uh, right. three or less. this one out here. All right. No, they have. They'd, what do you hear? I hear nothing. I hear nothing. <laughs> Are you sure those could be cannon? Yeah, they might be. All right. Ha have some more beer, Hans. Yeah, beer. Um, okay. Yeah. That takes us to turn thirteen. Oh, uh, should I reveal these two guys that were within twelve inches? Nope. Here? Not till uh, Doug has a chance to spot them. And well, I suppose yeah, he'll. Yeah, it's now that time. Yeah, that would be that time. The okay, first, I see, but the spotting phase is part of his... Right, it's actually gotcha. part of his okay. turn. And so first, at the end of your turn, you're supposed to... That's when you're supposed to give him his mo dice. I'm curious if that makes a difference. I don't think it does, but that's the rule. Okay. Um, right, mo dice. There's some mo dice, and now the spotting occurs, and yeah, you're almost certain to be able to see this dude. Yep, that's a flip. And this guy might be blocked. Might be a blocked by Ooh. that unit. Yep. Can't see him. Screen. Good Too far, yeah. yeah. Can't see him. So, let's bring on a... Von Waldig. So there has been some spotting. All right. Are we ready to rock and roll? Yep. Got Mo dice. Maneuver. Oh, it is turn thirteen, right? Yep. Right. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and activate fourth core. Start with over here. Okay. So I'm gonna have my boy. How much can I rotate at the beginning of a 45 degrees? 
Well, there ain't no reason to do that then. God, he doesn't get to move very far. Look at that town. There is a tavern in the town. Yeah, they're not they're not cruising too far there. Not happy about that. Not happy that Napoleonic armies actually maneuver at slow rates of speed. Slow <laughs> rates of speed. <laughs> okay. Um so that was five. Do I still have Mo? Uh, yes, you do. All right. And we'll activate the cavalry division over here. This is going to come to some business. Though not perhaps as quickly as I might hope. Oh, oh, hell yeah. There it is. <laughs> Bonk. Does he hit him? Uh, he could. Yeah. Good. Uh, no, he can't. Nope. He's close. Very close, but he does not hit him. But he does not hit him. Ah! I, don't know, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't know either, but... Visualizing success. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. If you're going to fight Moby Dick, take along Tartar Saw. Oh, hey, it's my wife. She's watching, too. Hello. Hello. Is she working tonight? No, she's actually... She uh, she used to be congratulated. She just got a full-time gig working at the at the uh, Wisconsin Center District. And cool. uh, she has a rare night off tonight. All right, so that was the cavalry. It's another four. It should be a total of nine, correct? Correct. And yep. Uh, you still got movement. Look at that. Well then. Heavens to Betsy. Heavens to Betsy. We will activate third core. These guys. Them fellers. And. Shooting at extreme range is two base widths, right? Affirmative. And here it is. Oh well, that's that's fine. Pew 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 pew. That's fine. Them boys ain't moving. These guys, though. Maybe yeah. Maybe. Complex move. In order to come up and do something that resembles a line. Mm -hmm. Same deal here. I'm sure, that's three inches, yeah. Yeah. Scooch. Boing. You ever put yeah. butter on a pop tart? It's so freaking good. Oh, when I reserve moved these guys like a turn ago, should I have flipped them because it was reserved? Yes, that yeah. is. Yes, you okay. should. Have. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and do that. You'll do that and uh, spot the units in there. Yep, yep. Yeah, this is a very satisfying look too. Yeah, I agree. This is going to be very nice for Wagner. Mm-hmm. When we have all the people. 
Yeah, this this works. All right, so that was third core. And another four points, so that would have been 13. And I don't have anybody else to move. All right. So we do have combat before status. Correct. Okay. So you got shooting and fighting. What do you... Right. So shooting... So I got shooting... Boyer's, the 12th line of Boyer's 2nd Brigade. All right, let me take a look at him. Boyer's 3rd Corps. 12th line. <laughs> there they are. There they are. 6th Alon, and they have skirmishers. Now... What that is, you'll notice, uh, Zeke, there are these notations, there's these icons uh, that mean different things. Doug uh -huh. has two things with this brigade. One is this skirmisher outline, which means one thing. But, Doug, you also have the artillery outline, so two good things oh, goody. for you. Two good things for you. So what yep. that means is, we go over here, and we see the skirmishers, a bonus when skirmishing against the enemy... And plus one die when shooting because he has attached artillery. So he's oh, going wow. to he's going to roll seven dice. Looking oh, for wait, but, um, sorry. The skirmish ability says uh, when against enemy infantry, right? Right. right. Oh, thank you. Okay, that would have been a mistake. So you get six dice, so no bonus. Uh, but it's ha uh, well, it's halved because you're at skirmish yeah, but, range. But the artillery is... A plus one die. Right, so it's seven dice. No, it's halved because you're at a lot... You're not... You're right. Outside. So it's it's six dice, halved to three, plus one for the gun, no bonus, four dice. Looking for sixes. Okay. Yeah, you were getting there the same way I was, just... Or a different way than I was, but the same number. Cool. Four dice, ready? Mm-hmm. Cowabunga. Nothing. Nothing. Pew, pew, pew. Not even close. All right. Now there's a melee. Correct? Correct. Mm, yeah. Horse to horse. horse. So the third corps, light corps. chasseurs, cavalry brigade A. Jacquino against von Radisovich. All right. So what we're going to do here, there's no dice to allocate, so that's nice. Jacquino, that's A, Jacquino, correct? Correct. Uh, right, there they are. Wrong one. There they are. Your Alan is six, Alan no other modifiers. modifiers. Let's take a look over here at Radisovic. We see the Alan is seven, no modifiers. So, Doug, you are going to roll six dice. Zeke, you're going to roll seven dice. Whoever gets the most fours or better wins. Uh, do I need to like delete this other dice that's laying out on the table, or no? No. Okay. Mm, only two. He wins. I only got one. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. So there was two to one, and now we come over here. Defender outcomes. If the defender's score, if the defender was outscored, it was greater than the attacker. You take one fatigue, and that's going to be it. The attacker was. Outscored, so you're going to take two fatigue and retreat. Right. So, so Doug, you're going to fall back six inches, as straight back as you can. And I'm going to take one of these markers for both of you, and I'm going to start putting them over here. So. And this is this a case where they retreat straight back, as I recall. Yep. They don't turn around. Correct. You as the atta the attacker basically the deal basically is the attacker always faces the right way. The defender right. doesn't. Right. Yep. So we bounced. Mm -hmm. and this was a. So I'm gonna put this right here on the roster. And you took two fatigue, leaving you with four. All right. I got that marked. All right, so that's how combat works. All right. And did you bounce, Doug? You did not. I did. Is this not you? Oh here? yeah. He... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, hold yeah. The... Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was looking at the. Uh, I, was, I was looking at Jacqueline B. 
Yeah, he he didn't quite get there. Very good. Uh, my wife finds the uh, the hairy chest of one Sean Connery disturbing. <laughs> as as we all do. <laughs> Which is probably why we're doing it. And she then asks Vagram, "Who's doing Vagram?" <laughs> uh, guilty as charged. All right, so that is all the firing and all the melee. So that's that's going very well. Um, Doug, you had no other units to check for in terms of or do Correct. you? Do you, you? Everybody that you've got is who are these lads? These guys are. Still oh no, I I do have to bring these guys on. Yep, whoever you can fit. Yeah, and it ain't going to be much. I mean, just notionally, you do know that you can line them all up along here, right? I mean, I realize and, you want them to... Well, I may do that, actually, because... Because, frankly... Because this is starting to hot up real quick. Yep. So they can move six. Yep. Now for artillery to fire through its own units, it needed a gap at least how wide? Inch and a half. Inch That's for all firing. He should have been part of this already. I just got nice. Why, how are we not friends? I just got a nice. Oh, we are friends. Good. Just got a comment from Robert Crandall on my Facebook post. <laughs> Crandall. So I'll comment is also it's very strange to see this battle at this scale as opposed to walking around it. Yeah, it happens when you uh, actually walk on a battlefield. Because we just came in here, drove up here, and spent the whole day just walking essentially right in here. Mm. All right, we're all on. There they are. All right, that takes us to the next turn, I do believe, which is turn 14. Okay. Got some mo dice for him, Doug? I do indeed. Excellent. Um, the distance apart for core activation was, it, was it one, one base length? Three inches, or correct. One base width. One base width, three inches, yep. He's good. Okay. Okay, um, I'm going to activate, this is so tough, um, it's just terrible for artillery. Um, Not wrong. Um, let's see, yeah, I'm going to activate these five units here of third core. Very good. Yeah. So artillery has a base movement of two dash one. So three inches, if it's a difficult move, which you're depending what you do, it looks like you're going to get up here. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I should pull these guys back. I think I need to pull these guys back because if I push onto this open area. I'm just going to mash it up pretty bad. So that's, then it's three inches because. Because you can only you can only get the six if you turn a mere forty five degrees. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. So, it is so you can only back straight up. You can back straight up, but it's three inches. Gotcha. Okay, I will do that.
Okay. Uh, do I still have movement? You do. Okay. Activate. Okay. I'm going to activate uh, five more units then of fourth corps. Those guys down here. See them. Proceed. So these guys are still in the world. So, so I could change my facing here and then move a full six inches. Or Correct. Just the three. Okay, Correct. So. Up to forty-five degrees. It's exactly that, Hezrubal. I, I, I don't like the aesthetics of being on the cards. I may like it more if this becomes too big a pain, but I just don't like the roster cards on the table. Okay, Even, do I still have movement? That was four more, Doug. You do not. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. In fact, you dramatically exceeded what you'd rolled. Well done. <laughs> Good. Well done. All right. So, so, so now uh, bringing on reinforcements then. Uh, yep. First regular reinforcements. Do you have any left? Um. Yeah, I've got a couple on both. Oh yeah. So you do. So just. Can I just bring him in in the grass somewhere. I yep. guess. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Yeah. On that table edge. He's got to. He's okay. got to come through this space basically. Okay. Got so, so if he's over here, I don't. It's not a problem. It just can't be way on the other side of the board. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, oops. there we go. Get that house out of here. No more zombies. Okay. No more. Please, please, no more zombies. Please. That seems very reasonable. Okay, and then uh, I roll for the... Yep, for the reserve. Uh, it is three. turn 14, correct? So it's still got to be... Is. you still got to roll a three or less. Nope. Jeez. Charles <laughs> is napping. <clears throat> which which he does. Which he is... Well, he was given to epileptic fits. Wonder why. <laughs> All right. I think that's it. Turn 15. 15. Give me them mo dice. Oh, right, mo dice. Man needs some mo dice. Okay, you're good to go. All right. Well, well, then let us begin at the beginning. Because that's a very fine place to start. And activate the entirety of my friends in 4th Corps. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you're only going to get to move 3 freaking inches. Well, actually, and you can you can park him there. There's certainly no problem with that. But we should do the spotting that has occurred over here, because mm. that way Zeke can work on this stuff. I'm pretty sure he can see him. <laughs> that guy, not so much. He's still behind. Uh, but yeah, that's a you can sub him out, and I'll put the card away. Okay. Yeah, this is a GIR 13. Very 
good. Yep, that should be it, right? Yep, I think that's all our scene. Very good. Look at them light boys. Oh, yeah. Some coin sauce. They appear to be Hungarians. Hungarian. Look at Tell their by their brown pants. Look at their trousers. Okay, so these guys. Mm -hmm. I can see my these house. Guys. Yep. All of fourth core is activated, so mm -hmm. good chunk. Ah, damn you. We knew where he started. Interesting. Oh, he's attacking the pig farm. Somebody has to take Roy the most strategic spot on the battlefield. It's, it's a probably. secret victory location. So it is. It is exactly what it is. Secret VP Loke. Interesting. So, so I probably was right. These guys are probably echelon like this. Yeah, it seems the likely outcome. Mm -hmm. And similarly, Marchy, marchy. All right. All right, that's fourth core. Okay, so that was eleven total, right? One, two, five. three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, eleven. Yep. Okay, you still have movement. Oh, all right. Look at you. In that case, we'll go ahead and activate the cavalry core. Um, is your ruler just going crazy, Doug? Because I'm seeing it. All over the board. Really? No, uh-uh. I'm only there seeing it's it gone. here. There we go. All better. All right, so I'm a base whip. I can still do it. Um, okay. What's that? Oh, never mind. I, I realized what you were measuring. I was wrong. Okay, so the cavalry. And I'm going to do that thing that cavalry does. Straight back three. Mm -hmm. And sort of, you know, get out of dodge. <laughs> According to Hasdrubal, the initial move, if you do it simple, is 360, not 45. 
Ah, okay. And I believe him. I, believe I do. Him. I have fa I have faith in his Dribble. I do. Well, certainly more than I have in myself. All right. So I'm going to move these guys like this just to line them up. Yep. And since it's a simple move and I can do 360, I'm going to do this. Straight ahead. And do this. So. Because I really like sitting up on top of that hill and looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> I like sitting 20 minutes away from the battlefield and not listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong about that either. Uh, that would be typical Austrian tactics. Um, though I guess I do have to sort of worry about the fact that... Uh, yeah, sooner or later. <laughs> sooner, sooner or later. <laughs> An entire core of screaming yep. seven-foot yahoos are coming. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're they're infantry, so I can still run faster than they can. True. All right, so that would be another four. Fifteen. How's he doing? I got any more? Oh, oh, sorry. I was looking at something. Um, no, no, you're out. All right, kind of what I figured. Okay, good enough. That's the end of movement. You got some shooting there you is, want to do? There is some shootification, though. Yeah, I didn't mm. realize how bad at a time this cavalry unit would have until I finished my moves. <laughs> um, are we still in range? Two, but yeah, I can do it up to two base widths, right? Correct. Anything above one, of course, is skirmisher. Range. Is skirmisher right? Alright, yeah, all these guys can. So, let's just start down the line. Who's first? Uh, third D Brigade, 85th Line, Duplain. 85th Line, Duplain. He, is, he has skirmishers, but this is at Cavalry. So, three dice, no bonus. Looking for sixes. There's one. Ooh. Pew. And this is the advance guard from Stuttgerheim. Which I find up here. Correct. Yep. Pew. Next shooter. Twelfth line. That's four. Go for it. None. Nothing. And the 21st line. I assume that's going to be 3 2. Or is it. 21st line, Boyer. Yeah, and they don't have that bonus. So 3, no bonus. That's Ooh, one. That's Ooh. another one. Storheim getting shot up there down to 4 Alon. Yeah, so this is the second Battle of Teugen that. I have shot the hell out of the That's like <laughs> cavalry. <laughs> You're not wrong. Well, you made them disappear in the black. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They 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 didn't make it at all. My goodness. They get paper. Go ahead, charge my line. Well, that Please. was that was not the best choice anyone could have made there. Um, all right, so you, I think that's that's it for combat. That's it. And you got that's no more it. reinforcements to bring on. So. Nope. We're done. That's it. Let's 15, it. or 16. Turn 16. Okay. And mo dice. Do -ka -do. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to start with this. If you, if you start with him, you yeah. can't do core activations anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah that's good. Um, if I wanted to retire him, when would that happen? That happens during the... That just happens during the turn, but it's an activation, and as Doug... It's the same problem. Uh, first of all, is he far enough away? Is he two base widths away from somebody else? 
I don't think oh, so. He probably no, he's not. not. Yeah, yeah, he'd have to he'd have to physically move out of range, and then that would happen as part of an activation. Okay. Well, all right. I'm going to start with the. I will start with uh, the rest of fourth core down here. I want to activate. So I'll activate. Um, so I'll attach. I'll do all eight of these. Yeah, that seems right. So um, second brigade. So let me grab two of the prepared markers. Two of them I'm just going to put in the square. The, those two leading. All right. Or I'm going to shrink these just a little bit. Um, this Hussar Regiment. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving! Well, what a good idea! <laughs> goodbye. And um, good day to you, sir. I said good day. <laughs> so, um, the reserve movement is limited by... 12 well, I could not move... Can, now, can I... I can't do like a portion of the core moving at that pace, right? No, the because volume. well, it, it doesn't matter because you you can You're move any 12. you can move any unit by reserve move, but the problem is mm, they would be crossing this line. Well, you can't. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Funnily enough, my cavalry have you under observation. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, he only has... He's still touching the woods. He's still... Yeah, this really does bring an element of maneuver to this. Yeah, I, I like this a lot more than the Aspern Espling game that we played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I didn't dislike that, but there's certainly a lot more thought and subtlety to this than the hey let's beat our heads against each other for <laughs> six days right i mean i'm i'm actually using light cavalry over here as light cavalry is supposed to be used that was not really a thing at no, Esper Nestling. no there's there's a lot of question of what you're supposed to do with your cavalry at Esper Nestling, honestly Right. Except fire them over the firm. Right. <laughs> All right. That's it for this course movement. Do I still have any? You still do. Look at that. Okay. I to... I don't know. I'm just like, is it. Are their lives worth more than a core activation? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to 18th or 19th century <laughs> command choices. <laughs> Um, I think I'm going to activate the rest of third core down here. Yeah, you got how many is that? I think these guys are actually just outside. It has to be three inches, right? Right. Okay, so I think these guys are sitting tight for now. So, what? Three more down there? Yeah, three more. Oh, they're all yeah, they're coming hard. That's uh, fifteen so far. Yep. about the limit of what you can do there. Mm -hmm. And flip them. And I really like that the uh, old Meldrum boys didn't constrain this to the typical... Right, half, basically half this battlefield. Yeah, basically yeah. half this battlefield. Well, like I say... It really that, makes at, for a better game. At that point, Blucher doesn't make a lot of sense in this game either. No, at, th at that point you really ought to be probably playing at the regimental or battalion level. Right. 
Okay, uh, so that's it for that movement. So there's three uh, there's more. Left. So that would have been a total of. Uh, yeah, four. I took him up. He's up to eleven. Okay, he's still. And he around. still has. He still got some. Oh mercy! Oh wow! Let's okay. go show um, the folks at home how much you got. Maybe I will save the. Uh, the Stutterheim boys may right. make it. Yeah, they might have a chance. I'm going to activate uh, these guys then. Yeah. That's it's going to cost you two. Directly around. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's two. And these can move up to six in open ground? Yep. Yep. No, well, no. In, yeah, as long as they're in the open, they can technically move 12. Right. Oh, right. wow. I guess I'll just bring them right up to the edge of these. Uh, yeah, they're four or two. The Stutterheim boys have decided better. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I still have any points? Believe it or not, you do. Okay. Let's do... Um, I guess I'll activate... I'll activate... You, you are beyond core activation, though. Yeah, so oh, yeah, right. you got to do individuals. Well, I guess I'll bring, uh, I'll bring this guy up, then, since he's... Alright. Mm-hmm. shoot a 15. Man, we've had a nice, solid viewership tonight. Blucher is popular. Blucher is popular. Glad of it. Okay, and then I'll just start. That's it for... Oh, I guess, do I have any more movement points? You do not. Okay. All right. You, All right. you got you. You spent exactly what you have. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll start subbing in my. Uh, yeah. My do you want to do that? So let's before we do that. You, before you do that, why don't we have you check for your reinforcements? Oh yeah. Uh, it's turn what? We are on turn sixteen. 16. Ooh, yep. so sixteen. This now you could get a one to four. Ah, let's see. Mm, and, yet, <laughs> and yet, and <laughs> yet, his his roll went up by one at the same time his possibility went up by one. Oh my goodness! So, so yeah, you can start subbing out, and with that, well, actually, what you, I will uh, grab your markers. Big big points for so successfully role playing the Austrians. <laughs> Thanks. I take it very seriously. <laughs> Oh, so painful. Cool. Oh, three two foot artillery, eh? Okay, and um, yes, can these guys can these guys see? Um, oh, never mind. I should do mo dice first, right? Yep. We do mo dice, and then yeah, Doug's we'll gonna see. see what he sees. Okay, you're good to go. All right, uh, well, Doug. It's pretty plain. You can see that fella. Yep. So he's visible. I think that's gonna be about it. That's about it. I think everybody else is masked. I think the rest of them is masked. Okay. Well. We're going to go ahead and activate 4th Corps. Uh, you know what? The reality is that uh, this guy right here should have been Flip. Oh, visible. true. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Get him off there. What's that? That was that was uh, first brigade, tenth Leger. That's your Leger. That's Lorenz. That's right here. Got it. Got him out there. That unit is no joke. No. I love my 10th light. Yeah, you would. 
of who tells them to go charge up that damn hill without they weren't even yep. they weren't even they were still in skirmish order yep all right so we'll start with them all right they're still a little bit in the town so here we go there's their three Right up that to there. Move was very simple. Move there, and they will taunt the pig of Royce. Ah, oh, see? It hurt you. You now have the aggro of the pig of Royce. <laughs> I have <laughs> aggroed the pig. See my echelon in despair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> smell the bacon, oh ye pig. Whoever said that Napoleonic battles were fast was not paying attention. Was not paying much of attention. I've heard it described as an automa an automaton ballet. Yeah, that's a pretty good description actually. All right, that's all the fourth core moved up. 5 6 7 8 Nine, ten, eleven. It was eleven. Yep. She got more. Do I still have points? Bro, oh, you're still good to go. All right. Man, you guys are rolling like crazy people. Well, in that case, we will activate the third core guys over here. Because why wouldn't I? Has such a great shot looking over the shoulder of these guys and realizing the Austrians are right there. Picture. Oh boy. bit of flexibility like that and we'll simple move these boys Davu's attached to them, so he's going to ride along, right? Mm-hmm. Correct. Yeah. All right, so that was another four. Does Fifth. I have any... 
15. Any more? He has 15. Anything else? Oh, that's what he spent so far? Mm. Oh, no, that's it. All done. All right. All right, well, I don't believe we have any combat this time. Yeah. I don't think you can shoot the... <laughs> nope. Move those guys, so... Yeah, Even I moved they were, them. They're, yeah. they're just barely in range, but... They're booking uphill. Hey, where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> Come on back! Come on back, fellas. We're just starting to get to know each other. Yeah, that was a problem. Um, all right, very good. All right. At that We're up to that 18. was turn 17. Sort of. Correct. That yeah. was 17. So that's turn 18. Okay. So, Doug, you want to give Zeke some modes? He's got him. Okay. I'm going to activate these five units of the third core. Very good. All right. <laughs> Doug, he's double dog daring you. Yeah, he really is. <laughs> is counting on the Pig of Royth to slow my advance. <laughs> well, he has the aggro and you don't. Or, or you have the aggro and he doesn't. I have the aggro. Yeah. That's why I like that. It's not. <laughs> Touching woods. Okay. I think that's it for them. Uh, do I still have movement? Yeah. Okay. Well, they can. All right, let's do. Um, I will activate one, two, three, uh, six units of fourth core. Okay. Oh, Okay, so that's 11 for me so far. Correct. Right. And you, uh, so you have completely exceeded the 6 that you rolled. Oh. Okay. Very cool. That right there is what we call lucky generals, which as we know, yeah. Napoleon said, send me lucky generals. Very yeah, cool. that really that shows why you want to do core activations. Right. Okay. Oh, I get to roll for my lazy grenadiers. Um, I'm just checking to see. To, well, first of all, we should have checked, but I don't think we got it. There's nobody to spot. No. No. Uh -huh. no spotting behavior, and yeah, we're all good. So, There's with all no that combat. in mind, we now find ourselves on turn 18, or yeah, 18. So 18. yeah, we're still four or less. Six. Wah, wah, wah. This is this is amazing. This this is remarkable. This is what it is. Yeah. Like I said, role play the Austrians. God bless you. Um, okay, right. we we're at ten fifty four. All right. Oh, let me do the mode guys. Um. So yeah, I I mean I can go a little bit longer because it's not a school night because I'm on vacation. Awesome. 
Well, we'll clip along. You let us know, Doug, uh, when we should do a round number, because I think the French go first, so we should probably end at the top of it before a French turn. Um, right, that's why I was... I, let's I will, let's I will, try and get through 20 here. I will, I will say, we are... We're hauling along. We'll see if... The, yeah, we're clipping, clip, clipping along here. All right, so, Doug, you've got more dice. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so, I'm going to activate these... I don't think we're close enough anymore. Nope. No, not really. So we'll activate these five All right. of fourth core. This does look spiffy, though. I like it. Mm hmm It does. Just so you know, Zeke, this is... Sometimes it's... Th this was another of my experiments with Tabletop Simulator. And you never ah. quite know until you play it out how it's going to look on the tabletop. Yeah, this is this is nice. Especially zoomed out. It just has a nice feel to it. Yeah. All right. So that was five. Do I still have mo dice? Yep. All right. In that case, yep. So these one, two, three, four, five, six. The tenth light's close enough as well. So I got six more of fourth core over here. Okay. Saucy pig will be mine. He's the pig of Roy's face as many foes. Unfortunately, you he spots for the Austrians. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. He's a Bavarian pig. That's true. He may not like you. He may be, He may tell you secret paths through the woods. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he is a Bavarian pig. All right. So that was a total of eleven. Do I still have mo dice? Nope. You're out. Well, I figured that much. Maybe it. Okay, well, Nobody I don't shoot. have anybody that can shoot at this point. Because I just moved guys up in front of him. Yeah. So, I done. All right, we roll over to turn 19. Uh, actually, we should be at 20. 20. 20 did 19. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Austrians are... And there are... Yep. There is a dice of mowing right there. Awesome. Let's see. Do you have any spotting? Good question. Let's see here. This, this guy ought to be... Right this guy. Savage. Who are you talking about, Doug, over there? Oh, right yeah. there, that ought, yeah, the cavalry. His cavalry ought to see him. Yep. On the board he comes. Sir, you will never guess what's coming up the hill. It's the 57th line. 
I hate those guys. Yeah, they don't do too badly either. No. No. Well, I mean, this is third core. Yeah. It's kind of hard to say that any of them... <laughs> yeah, none of them are slackers. Right, not, not at this point. All right, so that's some good spotting. I think that's it. Yeah, I believe that's it. Okay. So, Zeke, what do you want to activate? Mm, I'm going to do this pair of brigades first here, these two infantry. All right. Both, um, from, a, both from three core. Man, <laughs> Man, I got to give Ross all the credit in the world. Every time he moves backwards like that, I swear I think the units are going to tip over. Right. right. Yeah, that really, really does look 3D. Right. So that's it. It's two. Um, All right. You still got points. All right. I'm gonna activate. I don't know if this cavalry is in range. It's very close. No, they're side. in. They're fine. Yeah, they're in. Okay, I'll do um, these six units from 4th Corps. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hauling Sky. freight down that road. It's almost like he wants to form a line in front of uh, Nelson. And who really would blame him? Other than the people that live there. <laughs> okay, so that was six more. Yep, put you at eight. You still got some room. Going to, I'm going to do um, this portion of third core. These five brigades here. Okay. Or I guess they have to. I should be turning them to face the direction they're moving, right? And then. No, I mean the th th the thing with the difficult move is you actually pivot at the end of it anyway. Right. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Um, I it's just a, grab a couple of trees out of here. Yeah, yeah. You're already you're already paying a pretty steep price moving a grand total of three inches. Yeah. <clears throat> no thunderstorm yet, Red Sox. That's turn twenty nine. Yeah, honestly, at this rate, we're kind of headed for the skirmish at Teugenhausen. Mm. Yeah, I didn't feel like I could get my guys up and deploy them in front of Teugen in time, or that there were enough of them. I'm not saying that you were wrong. Let's see. There are other choices. I don't know. Hmm. All right, I guess that's... Uh, oh, do I have any more movement? Fine. Um, you do not. You have exceeded okay. it. All right. Uh, Only so, by two uh, this time, but... 
still, you get get fair value for your money. Efficient. I guess I'll um, do the Grenadier roll now. Yep, let's see. We find ourselves on turn... Do I see it at 20? Uh, yes. This is turn 20, so now it's a 5 or less. Ooh. And a 5. And, and he does it. Are. There they are. Ooh. Alright. Uh, how f will these guys be spotted? Uh, well, uh, not all of them. I guess mm -hmm. I'll still bring them. And they don't get spotted till the Doug's turn anyway, not that it right. matters, but... And also remember the city blocks. Hmm. And you're also coming around a mountain. Or a hill, anyway. Mm. Yeah. I just like say coming around. Oh, I think I've been... Have I been looking at the inversion the wrong way for hills? No, no. Okay. No, this... Like, for example, right here, these guys are climbing up a hill. Yeah, they're down in a pit. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, you're these uh, okay. light, light the Grinzers here and Von Valdeg. They're up. They're on a, on they're, the heights. Yeah, they're they're on a plateau, as it were. Uh huh. Okay. Is there um, any kind of modifiers for that? For for being uphill? Um, no. It's interesting. Okay. All right. Pretty sure of that. Are all the disadvantages. Yep. Difficult. To oh, there it is. Sorry, I, I lied. Look at my dirty lie. Minus one if the attacker is attacking uphill. And that's okay. a whole die. Uh-huh. Told a dirty lie. All right. Uh, so hold the reinforcements in. Yeah, um, that's it. That's it. Going that's it. Right. Go okay, one more. Dice. Mm -hmm. All right. That puts us at twenty-one. Twenty-one. More okay, dice. You're good to go. More dice for Doug. All right, we got dice. You do. Yep, you're good. All right, and so spotting anything, anything, Euler. Velker uh, dice. See, what are you talking about, here? Bennett? Uh, spotting. So none of these guys can see. None of that can see. How about over here? I'm saying probably. Ooh. Oh, he can see if that's twelve inches. Yeah. And it is. That's seen. The foot artillery is now being seen. And that was four core. Now. You found your guns, got them out there? Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, even though it's not exactly what I want to do. We'll go ahead and activate the four units of the cavalry over here. Oh. Alright. This is this has been a quiet moment in the battle for a while. Yeah, it has. Because it's not really the focus of my advance, but now that I have uh, an entire core of grenadiers <laughs> up on it, <laughs> Good note. Good note. <sighs>
Look at you being so unlike Marshall Ney and driving around the squares. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's kind of awesome, actually. Oh, that oh that fits on there. Look at that. I'm so happy about that. Oh, that's nice. I planned that, you know. I, I could tell. How otherwise would it have been so perfect? Right. Certainly not by merest accident. No. Right, so having exercised the better part of Valor. Four. Does no, he have more that than was four? four? Do I have more than four? Oh, yes, yes. All right. Therefore, you're going to activate these five of fourth core. Oh, the pig catches it now. The pig is in trouble. We are still at double-digit viewers, folks. Well, this is gripping. The pig of Roy. I mean, when you have the pig of Royth involved, <laughs> I'm telling you. The silent disapproval robot is going to be very sad. He missed the pig of Royth's appearance. He will. Uh, he will. He has always been a fan of the pig of Royth. Anyway. It's. He's close to it. He really is. I, I understand that it's kind of a mascot in Vancouver. <laughs> they have T-shirts, right? No, it's the uh, it's like they have all over the in the various cities they build the animals that they decorate. Like uh, Birmingham has the owl, and Berlin has mm -hmm. the bear. The uh, Vancouver has the pig, the pig of Royth. Mm -hmm. Not just any pig. Oh, right, the pig of Royth. It's important. All right, so that was an additional five. Do I still have Mo. points? It's uh, nine so far. Mm, yeah, you're still good. Look at that. Okay. <coughs> All right. In that case, I'm going to activate. This will work. One, two, three, four, five of the fourth core right here. Fifty seventh line will advance. Oh yes it will. Now, see, you didn't shrink my prepared marker down here. I really should do that, shouldn't I? Yeah, otherwise they can't do they that, can't fit the, up there the and the be all sexy. The fit, yeah, you, everybody wants the fancy, and they should. You really, you really do. And well, shoot, well then it should face the right way. Absolutely. There, there we go. Mm. Now we're talking. That is what separates us from the lesser animals. It's the, true. The ability to you accessorize know. properly. Monkeys can wear handbags, but they can't make them match. And they certainly can't have quality eyeshadow. Right. Okay. okay. Got any more points? It was five. Yeah, you actually still do. Whoa. All right. Whoa. What did he roll? I think so. Wait. Let me make sure I'm not doing my math wrong. Wait. So you did a mm. nine... Then a, yeah, 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 you still yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, should yeah. should should have been ten total so far, okay. and well, no, actually, um, fourteen so far. Yeah, it's fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're still you're, good. You're, you're fine. Mm, all right. Well, then we all know it's third core joining the parade. 
Gentlemen, let us have a parado. Just as they actually did. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt tromp through the woods. There's a lot of third core dues in those trees now. Third division has moved up, and do I have any more points? Um, no, I think that's it. I think it's almost right. impossible for you to have more. So, right. So you have one active shooting you can do. I do. I can shoot from uh, the tenth line. Yep. Tenth light can do it. Tenth legion. Where's that saucy tenth legere? Lorenz. Uh, that's seven rounded to four. Four dice, no bonus. About none. None. We will see you off, gentlemen. So good scene. Alright, I and think that's, that's it. That's it. We go to the. Austrian half of the turn, which takes us to turn 22. Dice are needed. And there they are. Everyone certainly still is in the game, Baronet Brandt. We got Zeke and we got Doug. They're just playing very intently. And I know this is Brant's question every time we play. How is this playing out compared to the way it did in history? This is pretty close. Mm -hmm. It's little variations, but... Uh, so but far. reasonably close. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. activate uh, okay. these five units of uh, third core. Cool. So cavalry, because he's in rough, is down to six S inches? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, if anything, the Austrians are probably playing a little bit more intelligently than they did historically. Well, and I'll defend them insofar as to say they didn't quite know what they were up against. Agreed. Agreed. I mean, the, the attack in general with what they had available was probably ill-conceived. Yes. Get some trees okay. here, right? right in there, in the room. Oh, 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 those guys are falling over. Falling That's down. it. You got to remove them from the board. Falling down drunk, <laughs> Your Majesty. That tree was the problem. It was. Gonna... They got lost in dense there. woods. <laughs> yeah. I'm only gonna say, having walked through these woods, yeah. I'm telling you. Okay, so uh, do I self movement? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yep, you used five. five. You still have some movement. I'm going to activate. Uh, these four reg uh, these four brigades here. Uh -huh. I'm not. Uh, well, I could only um, reserve move until I was within twelve. 
Yeah, but oh. the, well, yeah, hey, those they, are your guys. Oh, they can't see, but the problem is you also can't cross the stream. Ah, uh, I see. Remember, never cross the stream. Right. That would be bad. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, oh, this would be difficult going as well, right? Yep. So would Which be, takes uh, you to three. Three crossing. Mm hmm. Egon, you said crossing the streams was bad. <laughs> so, in this situation, should I. Where he's not into it. Well, I'll just. It's into it now. Yep. Yeah. You touched it. Just a little afraid of getting flank charged, maybe? <laughs> a little bit. Not, a, not in the river. I feel like that's bad. I don't know how much there are, but... um, going back through my book, I'm reading my Caesar, and I'm defining that, ju that poor judgment. <laughs> uh, well, that's so inter it's reading? interesting you're reading. Are you reading the commentaries right now? Yeah. Uh, his original or Napoleon's annotated? Napoleon's annotations. So that is... That's nine for me so far? Uh, and that would be all of your movement. Okay. Right. Oh, um... Yes? Am I able to fire with these guys who are yes. prepared over here? Oh, yes. Prepared may okay. fire. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll fire at this uh, the lead. Oh, are they within? Yeah, it's within three it's, is it's, no longer uh -huh. skirmish. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But okay. it's from. But I'll remember, fire. but remember, it's from center point. Oh, oh, okay. And it's still three inches. It's still okay. three inches. Yeah. Um, I'll fire at that front. Uh, the the cavalry brigade B. Jacquinos, you're saying C? Oh, yeah, B, which is Jacquino. You, this is 4L 2nd Brigade. All right, here we go. Uh, how many dice do I got here? That's what we got to look up. Let's see here. Um, yeah, I, thought, I, thought I thought there was some impact to being in prepared, but I can't remember. I don't think there is. I know it says specifically you can shoot. Uh, which unit is that, please? That's shooting. my 2nd uh, Brigade Radzo Zhevich. Second Brigade GR thirteen. There they are. Unfortunately, they are undersized. Aha! Uh -huh. They are undersized, which means they're a little light. However, they do get the plus one for the for the uh, when shooting. That's good. Uh, they are shooting at horse, so they don't get their musketry. So let's take a look at our modifiers. It's six, and you get the full six. Yep. Uh, which is nice, but we're going to go up here to the shooting modifiers. What are your penalties? I didn't, didn't see any. Oh, that's right. Undersized is only a negative for... Remember, you're looking here at combat. We're looking at mm -hmm. shooting, which is up here. You're not. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yep. But you are firing at cavalry, so that's a penalty. Okay. So that's three plus one for the gun, so four, no bone. Any bonuses? Yeah, it, it, and Doug, it is a negative if you are firing at a prepared unit with artillery. That would make sense. Because you're in squares, right? Yeah, you're in square. At least. or And certainly you're not running around. Mm -hmm. So, um... All right. All right. Well, so, four dice out? Four dice looking for sixes. All right. Nope. Nothing. Nope. Still got off their shot. How about these lads here? Yeah, it's wor worth doing it. Yeah, it don't cost nothing. Uh, this is. Uh, oh, that's a shot. Yep. Yep. Okay. There's a shot there. At it's long range, fun but sure. fun so, ball day. So that's half down to. Oh, just... Yeah, it's it's you just basically you can only be penalized once. And that's second. Oh, okay. That's how that is. Okay. So it's second brigade von Waldeck, IR twenty one. Yep. 
Three dice, you need sixes. Okay. Dice. Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Um, that's it then. All right. Very good. All right. Well, we've rolled up on 1130, right. basically. So I think I'm going to call it from my side. Okay. Okay. So let's, uh, let's move, make sure our turn markers are right. We are on turn 23. Just beginning 23. Awesome. So let's take a look very quickly at victory conditions. Uh, da, 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 Austrian briefing. Um, ba, ba, ba. Yeah, we thirty. So it's twenty-three. We only we only have eleven turns to go. So it's not right. we're not much longer for the game, which is kind of cool. Um, and the one thing we did not discuss this game and talking about your point, Doug, about it being a skirmish. The morale levels are actually very, very low in this game because of how few units there are. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the army morale for the French is a scant seven. Wow. The uh, army morale for the Austrians is also seven. So, you know, first seven units gone is game. Mm -hmm. and, and so I think when you look at that, when you consider it that way... Um, and then, oh, that was the other thing I was going to check. I have to start rolling for the thunderstorm. Right at 29, eight turns. In, in eight, we're eight turns away from checking to see. So, you know, who knows? This could actually be a draw. You know, that's right. Um, this, this could certainly end in a draw. Uh, so, cool. Um, general impressions. I know, Doug, you were saying favorable things like the way this turned out so far. Yeah, no, I, I really like this. I The fact that there's a lot more maneuver, I think, shows the system better. Um, than Osper Nestling. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, it was tough with Osper Nestling, not, not only because it was such a big fight, but because the terrain is so constrained. Mm -hmm. There isn't any maneuver. Right. You know, it, it's it's a head-on attack, basically. This, there's a lot more subtlety to it. Now, we are at a point where, you know, I, I, I think Zeke's done smart things in not exposing himself to an overwhelming attack by being too far forward. But the consequence of that is that we are probably four turns away or eight turns away from possibly the end of the game. And we just haven't had any, there's not been a major fight. Right. Yeah. I don't think I'll be able to even get my grenadiers into like into a battle at all because I was like very optimistic about, Oh, well maybe I can, you know, um, road march them, uh, reserve move them forward, but they're just kind of out of it. I think. Well, I think part of what screws that up, too, is the fact that Doug committed so much of his cavalry units over here. Yep. Yeah. Which, which well, I wonder, too, what would have happened if I had left that infantry unit originally in Parony, too. I don't know. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what. When you moved that guy out of there, that's where the cavalry was going. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, I it was so. obvious to me. Hold, hold that position, and I have bottled up two divisions. Yeah, because because yeah. his cavalry, I don't, you don't. This is all light, right? Yeah, it's yeah, all light. His, his cavalry is probably not going to be too fortunate at dislodging prepared infantry out of Perry. No, you know they're they're no, going to be. No, but once it got, yeah, once it got abandoned, then yeah. it, I was going right there because I could see the two entry paths, right. And I was therefore going to complicate the entry of a significant portion of the Austrian. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I've had two brigades deployed in the square for a long time now. Oh just yeah, yeah. The rest of my guys to get out of there. Yeah. So there's no, and that's that's to your point, Doug. That's why. Although you know, again, these guys, these guys are getting in range. Yeah, I, I mean, we could get to a point. You know, third division here is 
possibly getting ready to hit his third or his first division. I mean, that could happen. We could have a fight in the woods here. Yep. Could be a fight. Um, there. there could be any. There could be any number of little fights. I, I guess I don't know. Yeah. It's it. This is one I very much want to see get played out. So, well, Zeke, this is your first time playing Blucher, yeah? Yeah, yeah. What? What? And you I, thought? I like this. Okay. I mean, um, in comparison to other stuff I've played, I haven't played a ton of uh, Napoleonics on like a campaign scale or like a grand battle scale like, like this. But mm -hmm. um, I like it. I like that it's really hard to deploy troops from kind of like their column back into line. Like, I don't know if you remember, like the very beginning when um, this part of the when these four brigades were back here, it took I think like two full moves to get them out in the battle line. I like yes. that a lot. Yes. Um, I guess, yeah, overall it seems really good. I would like to, you know, play more of this and see how other battles play out. Well, I will, uh, I, I'm not hard to uh, urge in that area. No, it's <laughs> the, um, the, the guys at Old Meldrum, uh, one of the things I would love to do is the, uh, the guys at Old Meldrum have long ago challenged us to a transatlantic fight in one of their battles. Oh, wow. You know, which would be pretty cool to be able to get Ross and that crew. But obviously we'd want and they've got let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. They've got nineteen battles done. Sure. Uh, uh, with the maps, including uh the ones that I keep staring at and going, Yes, I am just that stupid uh Ekmul, which I would love to do, Vagram, second day, and yes, Leipzig. Oh wow! You know um, we really have to do Egmo. Yeah, I think I think Egmo would be a really really fun game. Mm -hmm. um, just because there is so much maneuver and there's so much silliness that happens that would yeah. Be... Well, Leip Leipzig is too. I mean, yeah, yeah, but <laughs> Leipzig is a lot of dudes. I think it's uh, big. I will. Uh, I think I'll work my way up. Um, yeah, Fr Friedland's no slouch. No, that's true. That's true. <laughs> but. Uh, and the other thing is, though, is that I think, I, I think I'm okay with this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create sub-boards off to the sides with the faces of the commanders on them so that 3rd Corps can go on a board, 4th Corps can go on a board. I'm talking about using the cards for rosters. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, okay. I think instead of putting it on Zardoz, which is a good thing to do. Um, but I think I'll do that just as a matter of convenience. But no, I'm very satisfied with the way the units look, and I like the idea of pulling off the cards, using them for the rosters, and then letting that stand in their place. And then tracking, yeah, I like that. Tracking, tracking Alon that way. Well, very cool. Well, we're going to go back over here, as we always do, because he uh, called us to order, and he will now dismiss us. Uh, first thing I have to do, because otherwise I forget, is to save... And this is Teugenhausen, turn 23, right? Uh, uh, yes. Beginning 23, I believe. Yeah. All right. Just get a good save number. Good. That's saved. Uh, there it is. And so, to our new guy, Zeke, and to my guy, Doug, thank you so much for joining. Uh, we had a, like I said, we had a really nice crowd of folks join us tonight for Armchair Dragoons Saturday Night Fights. I very much appreciate seeing everybody. Um, oh, shoot. Hasdrubal's pointing out, Cavalry can't even attack the defended town. Right. Oh, wow. That's, that's true. They know. can't. Yeah, so so that that's even more dramatic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when that infantry decamped out of there, I was like, yeah, I'm going there. So... There's 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 some thinking there and for future strategies replayability hi, uh, but yeah we had we had a we had a a great number of folks come in thank you so much if you're interested just like Zeke was to come on over and play we're over at armchairdragoons.com go to the forums check us out uh, Saturday Night Fights has its own sub forum thanks Brant for that but in the meanwhile gentlemen uh, on behalf of the the guys here and myself. And since, uh, well, I don't know, we may be getting together before the holidays, so hopefully we'll see you very, very soon. Take care.